Hello there, it's Tim, Golf 5 Tango Mike, and uh, today I'm going to talk you through a little project I'm doing and how you can make your own very inexpensive and effective ground radial plate. Thanks for coming back if you're a regular subscriber or viewer and if you're new to the channel well think about hitting that subscribe button and that uh, notification bell as well uh, for any future videos. Okay then so uh, I've got one or two changes happening here at the QTH in terms of HF antennas. I currently run a uh, 66 foot NFED half wave as you may well have known if you've been watching some of my earlier stuff from a, a month or two back. It does really well on 40, it's okay on 20 and you know 15 and 10 well <laughs> 15 and 10 I mean 10 meters has been open a little bit 15 I've heard the odd voice but um, there you go it's a good antenna and it does the job what I'm looking to do now is to get 80 meters back on the horizon for myself and that creates a problem for me here at this particular QTH the thing is the garden's very small and to fit in a doublet which is the antenna I'll have to use for 80 because I can't get a full half wave antenna for 80 meters anywhere in the garden if I bent it around all shapes it's not going to fit but a uh, sort of 95 foot doublet, something like that, could be squeezed in somehow. But that'll be a really compromised antenna. Not so much in terms of its performance on 80. I mean, 95 foot is plenty to get you uh, a decent performance on the uh, the phone part, especially of 80 meters, because it's a three eighth it's a three eighth wave antenna. It'll be absolutely fine. Thing is, though, my garden's so narrow, I'm gonna have to sort of do an inverted V, slope it down, push it out, bring it back. It's gonna be all over the shop. So because of that, it's gonna be quite a compromised antenna. It'll be fairly low in places. So it'll be good for 80 meters for mooching around the UK and into Northern Europe. And 40 meters, I get I like working into G and Europe, the odd DX. So it'll do me. I've got no grand expectations for 80 and 40. But for the higher bands, that antenna is likely to be a problem, not likely to be a great performer. There's going to be plenty of, uh, plenty of nulls, it's going to be low to the ground, and uh, I think it'll be wasted on 20 metres. So I need to think of another solution for 20 and possibly the higher bands too. And that's what's got me thinking. Because I don't have any more aerial space, the only option I have, therefore, is to go down the ground-mounted quarter-way vertical route, okay? So what I'm going to do is just try initially just 20 metres, just 20 metres, which of course, as you probably know, is approximately 5 metres of wire up a fibreglass pole or other support, non-conductive if you're using a wire, so a fibreglass pole is ideal, but it'll need ground radials, okay? So in order to facilitate that and get the amount of ground radials you need to make it work fairly well, which I think is going to be around a minimum of 50 metres of radials really, then um, you're going to need something to attach the radials to. And this is where we need to think about a radial plate, a ground radial plate. Now, if you go down the commercial route, they can cost quite a bit of money, all right? Um, I think around upwards of $50, 50 pounds, even more, okay? They'll cost you money to buy. So I, I'm, I don't like spending money on things that I think I can make with little effort to work easily or just as well. So I come up with this idea, and in fact it wasn't me who came up with this idea, I should say. I'm using an idea that somebody else has come up with, and I'll give him a bit of credit in a minute. But it's this. Okay? Literally that. And what they are, this particular design here, is, what is it? One, two, uh, four. Yeah, that's four. Four pieces of um, L-shaped zinc effect bits of metal. With the holes pre-drilled. I think it's an M six and uh, get some wing nuts and bolts job done so what you do okay you can see that some of them hold the structure together with the holes and some of them are just free they're just free uh, free standing so to, to attach a radial all you do or a bunch of radials is uh, unscrew that slide the fork connector in tighten it back up bob's your uncle Okay, and you can adapt the size, you can make it long and thin, do what you want with it, okay? And uh, the whole thing came to about five, ten dollars, nice and easy to, to use. Now, the person who came up with this idea that I saw was a UK ham called Lee, whose call sign was Mike 7 Mike Lima Bravo. So there you go, you see, an M7 showing us what to do, which is fantastic. So well done, Lee. Now, I spoke to Lee a long time ago, months and months ago, 
to say, look, would you mind if I used uh, your, your idea in a future video? And he was more than happy for me to go ahead and do it. So, uh, Lee, if you are watching this, and I'll send you a link anyway, but if you are watching this, fantastic. Well done. Thanks once again. So uh, what I've done, I've, I haven't put the radials out yet at all. I'm just going to show you an idea of what it's going to be like. Now, here's the, the big compromise. The one thing I'm going to tell you about before I show you the layout of it, the proposed layout of it, is that these radials are likely to be no more than a metre long each. Right? There you are. I told you there was a compromise. And the other compromise is they'll just be going out at a 180 degree angle. In other words, basically, you've got the patio this side. There'll be no radials. And the lawn's going to be that side in a 180 degree arc of one meter radials okay and i think i can probably get in total around 75 meters of radials onto this baby in bunches of five or six and there'll be a you can put more than one bunch on each one probably put two bunches on some of these one on others depending on where it's going to go so that's the idea anyway enough of me rambling on let me show you how it actually is posing to look where it'll be and then we'll go from there so here's the radial plate. On the left, you've got the patio where the radials won't go. And on the right is where the radials will go on the grass, 180 degrees. Some going down, some going around. And the measuring tape is one metre long. You can see them going round there. That's the sort of arc that they'll cover. And uh, we'll go down to the radial plate in a second. There it is, look. And uh, on the left, you can see holes which where I'll be pegging it down to secure it to the ground. On the left, you can see that particular wing nut is where I'll connect the ballon to. And the others is where the radial wires will be connected to as well. Uh, the ones going out to the right rather than up and down will be longer. And they'll be the ones with uh, two, maybe two bunches on each one. And hopefully about 75 metres of radials in total. And there it is, one metres long. So there you are. So the plan is going to be then to build the 20 metre quarter wave, see how she performs. If all goes quite well to plan, and I'll give it a good month or so to see how she does. Then the next stage then will be to see, OK, maybe we will then take the N-fed half wave down, which is going to be great service. And I do recommend those antennas, especially portable, they're great antennas. Um, so I'm going to take that one down, put up the doublet, get 80 and 40 working. In fact, at that antenna, the doublet was still tuned 20, probably 17, 15, 10. But the longer the doublet, the more uh, nulls you have on the higher bands. That's the only problem. So I'm going to try that, put this up, put up the new doublet up and see how it all, how it all goes. And if this goes to plan, this 20 meter quarter wave goes okay, then I might think about multibanding it as well and put up some other of the higher bands on there. But we'll take it one step at a time. Anyway, well done, Lee, again for this idea. As I say, uh, if you can shop around for these, uh, if you're in the UK, uh, places like Screw Fix sell them. They're 75 mil uh, zinc effect metal, sort of angled, uh, angled bits like that, like L-shaped. And as I say, you can attach them very easily with the the wing nuts and bolts there. Thanks for watching. Seven three. Good luck with your antenna experiments too, and stay safe. Bye bye.